Hello, Sam Owens here. We're going to show you the installation procedure for the Optima battery tray. This is for the 2017 Slingshot, and uh, you can recognize uh, it with this tab that sticks out. They made some slight changes in the battery uh, tray area, and uh, it's a little different uh, starting with 2017. So now, <clears throat> You're going to have uh, dimensions here that uh, you need to be aware of when ordering a battery. The Optimum, uh, Optima battery, uh, there's many different uh, sizes and styles, so uh, we'll give you the model number of the one that uh, we recommend. Now with a T40 torque bit, you're going to remove two screws here. We just remove both of these. With the flat tip screwdriver you just stick it along this pin and pry out and pry the other side out. And they should just pull right out each of them. Now if you need uh, pliers you can do that. And then we just pull this whole little assembly out. These are little pop pins. Okay, put those aside. You're going to use them again. Okay, now we need to get this out. And then we pull up or push down and pry this. Yeah, I think it's down. And this is what it looks like. You'll want to notice how things are hooked up. This right here is your ground, your negative terminal. Uh, this is where it grounds it to the frame. And there is your positive terminal. It's covered with a red cover so that you don't accidentally short that terminal to any of this ground frame. Or if you short this terminal with this terminal with say a screwdriver or a tool you're going to get a, a bad sparking condition and you could even have the battery to uh, be damaged uh, if it were to stick and weld and uh, you could you want to uh, be cautious about this. So the first thing we're going to do is make it a lot safer by removing this ground first. So with a 10 millimeter socket or tool of some type of your uh, desire that will fit in there, uh, this quarter inch drive socket seems to work pretty good. You have one wire right here is going to the battery tender. So, and this is the positive side, so those will need to be reconnected later. But now, uh, we're a lot safer. And we, okay, now we're going to start taking this uh, battery strap out. And part of it is taking these two bolts, as we said, remove them. But this is slightly in the way, so we're going to remove this cover to gain better access. So you just squeeze squeeze here and you'll see there's three fuses in there and that's what they are so this is good to know about this location of your fuses so now we'll just take our uh, 10 millimeter and we'll just take this loose take this one loose too but be careful of your fuses there. And we'll loosen this one up also. All of these are 10 millimeter. And you don't need to take this loose. You can leave this like that because there's a cutout uh, on the new battery tray. As we remove the last bolt holding the uh, power fuse holder in place, it's going to be able to be removed and you're not going to really do a whole lot with it other than just 
have it removed so that we can take this off. And keep in mind, now would be a good time to protect those fuses from damage by putting the cover back on and just squeeze her in play and just put over to the side. Remove this. And I'm not gonna remove it all the way. With a eight millimeter a box wrench and your 10 millimeter here, uh, you can experiment around with the best way to achieve this. Uh, I'd have found I can reach my hand around and uh, get access through here. Drop your tools and then you can simply remove this now. And take this one loose. Now that we have the other two bolts removed, let's see if we can't remove this one. And it's easy enough. I had it loosened up pretty good. Okay. And now we can remove this whole assembly, pulling it out. But be aware that we have to remove the positive terminal here. And since we have our ground off, uh, we still want to take precautions not to touch things, just to be on the safe side always. Oh my goodness, that nut was loose already. It was not tight. I could uh, have ended up with a problem at some point. Loose terminals are not good for battery connections. Okay, so there, you see, before I take it loose, this is the battery tender, and this is a fuse right here, and this is a cover. I'm not gonna take it off right now, but that's how you get access to the fuse if you were to blow that. Okay, so now I take this nut out, and there's my connection. And I'm gonna put this over to the side. To get the battery out, get you something that will allow you to slide the battery out onto it. I found this box that's the perfect height. You probably have something in your house that will equally do it. So now, on the back side is the tab hangs down for this bracket. So it's gonna to wanna to hit the metal here. So if you take your finger and pull away as you guide it and tip it, you probably will make it. And it's just like that. <laughs> and pull her on down. Okay, once you get it out, then you can take the battery over to a, a safe location. Don't let any of this material short across these two terminals. So you guard that very carefully. Uh, and right now we could remove this. We're gonna install our battery box in position. And you want this part hanging down, the square hole over to line up with this, and this tab to the back. So we pop this right down in there like that. And that's the way it's gonna sit. Now we're going to put our uh, bolt here and our nut here. And notice how I'm reaching through. I found this is pretty easy way to lay down and just screw this thing on. I put this one, these are eight millimeter bolts with 10 millimeter nuts. So it's gonna require a couple of tools. And maybe this, this is a better way with your, yeah. Okay, I'm getting her this way. Uh, you see, this is a, a little bit of an awkward 
place to work uh, just to show you okay I got that on there I think and and I just do the same thing here the uh, Optima battery uh, has two posts on the top and uh, they have included the post connectors uh, in your kit and what you'll want to do is on the negative terminal you take the negative side this is the positive side with the red you connect these together like this and connect right into there on one side now you've removed the strap that you don't need if you had bare wires and you just tighten these down good and tight for the positive terminal place the post connector in this position with this side up so the tapered side is down that will fit over the post and then take and tighten Oh, this is the battery tender, so you have your negative down here, your positive here, and you just tighten this up, and get your wrench, and kind of hold this back a little bit. This is 11 millimeter, and you give her a good tight turn. Now, you'll want to put your Optima battery in with the positive terminal back mount the positive terminal and tighten down with this nut and uh, then once that's in position then you will place this like this over the battery going into this slot and lining up so that see it pushes back so that this side is locked in and then you will make sure your wires are not uh, in the wrong position then you place this bolt now you're going to notice there's longer bolts and a short bolt. The short bolt goes here. The two long ones go in there. So keep that in mind. And you just screw this down. Okay. Now the next thing is we get this locked in with the two bolts here. And what we do is unplug this so that we can get access to it and we put this back here put your bolt this one right there tighten her down as much as you can with your hand okay we tighten her up. These are 10 millimeter. Okay, watch your your fuses there. You don't want to have your uh, tool damage them. Then last, you will put this terminal on the negative. That's the installation of uh, the Optima battery tray for the 2017 Polaris Slingshot. Now, we have our battery in position, connected, everything is great. The final step would be to place the cover uh, into position. Notice right here you have a slot and right here you have a tab and this will go into here like that and you also 
will position this underneath. Actually, you push this in first would probably be better. And then push this in. Okay, once that's in, then kind of bump up T40s, making sure that's in position. And we just go right in here. Up here, you take these push pins, the base, push that one in, this one, and then you take the pin and push it in and uh, to the other and kind of move it around until it goes in there and then it should snap in position so good luck on your project and i uh, hope it works for you